everyone welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a review and swatches on the new Colourpop super shock shadows in the ultra glitter finish um, they did come out with five shades here if you're not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also if you would like to see some swatches on these and also some comparisons to these shades then just keep on watching so when I saw on Snapchat that Colourpop was going to launch these um, Super Shock Glitter Finishes, I knew I wanted to jump on that bandwagon. And they do come in their standard packaging, like um, their regular shadows that they have. And also they do come in the regular boxes that they usually have their shadows that are in their regular line as well. These Ultra Glitters retail for $5 on the Colourpop site. And I do believe these are limited editions, so if you have been eyeing these, I don't know how long they're going to be around because they did run out when they first launched them. They did sell out, but they did restock it, and I am on their ColourPop site, and they still have all of the shades still available. So if you want to pick these up, I'm not sure how long they're going to have them, so you should definitely pick them up if you have had your eye on these. So I have my laptop right here, and I want to read on from their site what they claim these shadows are. And it says, so these Super Shock shadows are long-wearing cream powder formula, has an elastic-like texture that is totally party-proof. Avoid the fallout from traditional powder shadows and say goodbye to raccoon eyes. This feather soft formula glides on and feels freaking amazing. <laughs> Super shock shadows come in a ton of kick-ass shades in multiple fabulous finishes. So this shade right here is called Sailor. And this shade is described as a cool tone taupe undertone with an opalescent green and teal duochrome finish. Sprinkled with green, teal, and silver glitter in an ultra glitter finish. This shade right here is called Arrow and it says this is a vibrant metallic red with an extreme hot pink and coppery duochrome effect topped with pink and copper glitter in an ultra glitter finish. This is the shadow I actually have on my lids today. These shadows are better if you use your finger to apply them rather than a brush just you'll just get the most payoff with the ColourPop shadows especially if you want the glitters to really show on your lids this next shade here is called fireside and it is described as a deepened bronze undertone sprinkled with lots of gold glitter and subtle pink and silver highlights in an ultra glitter finish this one's really really pretty this next shade is called Cusp and it is described as a bright emerald green infused with tones of turquoise, gold, and silver glitter in an ultra glitter finish. These are so pretty. And this last shade is called Dance Party and this one is a sultry smoky violet packed with hot pink, violet, and cobalt blue glitter in an ultra glitter finish. I think um, this one to me has the most like shine and like glitter it feels like. So when I saw Colourpop was gonna launch these ultra glitter um, shadows I knew I wanted to compare them to Urban Decay Moon Dust palette because these five shades that they have launched um, really reminded me of the Urban Decay eyeshadows. I don't know if anybody else noticed that too but here are the shades of the ColourPop and then here is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and the shades in this palette. As you can see ColourPop has a green, a purple, they have like a brown shade and then they have a um, reddish shade right here and then this shade I thought it was pretty similar as well. But when they put them together, they didn't really look similar. But I wanted to do like a swatch comparison to see if they actually look the same. Just because if you haven't purchased either or and you want to decide which one is the one that you want to purchase. Whether the Moon Dust Palette or the Super Shock Ultra Glitters. Um, I just wanted to do a comparison. And seeing if you did purchase the Moon Dust and you're thinking about getting the Super Shock Shadows. Um, just to see if you need both. 
So I definitely wanted to do that for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and compare them to the two. So the two shades that I thought looked similar before I actually received them was Sailor. And I'm comparing it to Spectre, which is right here. So this one right here is the Urban Decay one, and it's called Spectre. And this one is Sailor by ColourPop. And just by swatching them, because my Moondust palette is new, I haven't even used it yet. But just by swatching ColourPop and the Urban Decay one, ColourPop's definitely more smoother once you swat, like, put your finger in it. Whereas the um, Spectre by Urban Decay is more rough. It's more rough, I don't know. Like, the, texture, the textures are definitely different. So this is a shade comparison from the two light shades. So again, this one is ColourPop Sailor, and this is Spectre in the Urban Decay Moondust palette. I thought they were um, similar before I ordered both of them, but once I received them and just put them side by side, I knew they weren't the same. So the next shade I want to compare is Arrow by ColourPop with Element. So Element's right here, and this is Arrow. They definitely don't look the same either, kind of, but not really. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. Again, the ColourPop one feels really smooth just by touching it and swatching it. And the Urban Decay one, again, it doesn't feel as smooth. I don't know if it has like a layer of, like a rough layer on top. These two actually kind of look the same. So this one is a lemon shade that's in the Moondust palette, whereas this one is the ColourPop Arrow shade. And as you can see, they kind of look the same. They just have different textures. Again, ColourPop's soft, and this other one was a little more rough. It might be the sparkle that's in it. So yeah, these two shades are definitely similar. So the next two shades I'm going to be comparing is Farsight by ColourPop with Lithium that's right here. Lithium looks more um, lighter than Farsight, but we'll be comparing both of these and seeing how they look. So this is Lithium that's in the Moondust palette, and this is Farsight, the Ultra Glitter from ColourPop. These shades are really, really similar. Like, I knew when I saw them that they had posted them, they looked really similar. You can see they are really similar. Again, ColourPop super smooth when I'm swatching them, and Urban Decay is more of a rough texture. And again, I think it's just because they actually have glitter, like glitter, sparkle in the shadows. Farsight right here is darker than Lithium, but they pretty much look the same to me. So the next shade I'm going to be comparing to is Dance Party to Magnetic in the Moondust palette. Um, Dance Party definitely looks more darker than um, Magnetic here. I want to see what the difference is, but as just by looking at them, Dance Party looks darker than Magnetic does. This one doesn't feel as smooth as the other ones did, and you can definitely see more glitter on this one than on the other ones. So here are the swatches. They actually look similar on camera, but in person they don't really look as similar. This one is Magnetic in the Moondust palette, whereas this one is Dance Party by ColourPop. ColourPop Dance Party is more purple with the, all the, they pretty much have the same glitter, pink, purple, and blue glitter. Just that... Dance Party is more purple, whereas Magnetic looks more... It's purple as well, but it just feels like it has more of the glitter overpowering than the actual purple shade. They're both really, really pretty. Last but not least, I'm going to be comparing Cusp by ColourPop to Light Year. These look really similar, so I'm excited to see how close they are. So again... ColourPop super soft, and again, I could feel the sparkle in the Moondust palette. These look really similar, just that the um, Moondust one looks more like it has more of the glitter in it than the ColourPop does. So this one is color um, Moondust in Light Year. This one is Cusp by ColourPop. The shades are really, really similar, but um, Light Year definitely has more glitter in it than um, Cusp does. They're really, really similar. 
So like, overall, I think these are really, really pretty and they swatch really nicely. They are really pigmented and they are super, super soft and buttery. They definitely feel more smoother than the Urban Decay Moon Dust. So if you were unable to pick up the Moon Dust and you're looking for a more affordable alternative, um, these ones definitely are pretty close to the same shades that are in the Moon Dust palette. These are $5 each. So you're spending $35 to get all of these, whereas in the Mundus palette, this palette is $49 and you get 8 shades. If you're on a budget, I definitely recommend you guys picking up the ColourPop ones just because um, they're more affordable. I wish these actually came like in a palette. Like Urban Decay has this Mundus palette with the glitter shades. I just like all the shades being together, like that they're not single. I just feel like shadows that are in a palette is much like neater to have stored and you can just grab the palette instead of grabbing all five shades when you're gonna travel or anything like that I just feel like palettes are more travel friendly um, but if you are unable to pick up the moon dust palette and you wanted to find like an alternative I definitely think these ones from ColourPop are like I said these are a limited edition if you want to get your hands on these you definitely should pick them up as soon as you can because these will be gone I'm not sure if the moon dust palette is limited edition or not um, if you do know just let me know down in the comment section below I'm not sure like I said if it's limited edition but I do know that these ColourPop ones are and also you don't have to pick up all five like you do have the option to just pick up one or two you know you might not like all five of these shades just like you might not like all of the shades that are in here either so you you're stuck with all of these shades and you're paying $49 whereas right here you have the option to pick up one two or all five of them for five dollars each these definitely are a great alternative to the moon dust palette if you're not able to get that one and also you can pick up one if that's the only shade you want I hope you guys enjoyed this review swatches and comparison video if you're not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to like this video as well and I will see you all in my next video bye